Hey, what's up, y'all? So I got this video about this guy that has seven baby mamas. Let's watch it. I got seven kids and seven baby mamas. Now, for the past few days, I've been going live, telling my story, speaking my truth. And a lot of women having an issue calling me a deadbeat because I tell them I was being irresponsible, yet not wearing protection. But I always tell uh, these women that I got pregnant that I do not want to be a father to these children. And I offer to pay for the abortion. Majority of times, they'll either take the abortion or they'll take a plan B. But only these seven have kept these children. But the crazy thing about it is they want me to be responsible for some children I told them I did not want. So for some years now, some of them been trying to get in contact with me. Access denied. Because I, I don't really know why you're trying to get in contact with me. I didn't told you I did not want them kids. So don't expect me to be responsible financially, emotional, spiritually, mentally, or physically with some kids I do not want. And I don't give a fuck what nobody think about it. You're not gonna force children up on me. Yeah, we both made the decision to lay down and have intercourse. We both was irresponsible about the decisions we made that night. Yeah, I could have pulled out, but I didn't. And I ain't care to pull out because I'm not the one that's going to have to carry a baby for nine months. It's the woman. In my opinion, women should be more careful on who they sleep with. Because you're going to be like, one of my baby mamas trying to find me so I can financially support a kid I didn't told her or them I did not want. Another thing is, these just jump offs. These are the type of women that I ain't even had to do nothing for. The bad minimum, but they gave me access to their body and they think I want to be a, a father to a child for one of them? Like, I don't even have no type of love for these women. How do they expect me to love these children? Before y'all say, oh, he irresponsible, he a deadbeat, he don't take accountability. Yeah, I do. I just don't give a fuck. You ain't gonna force these children on me when I told you I ain't want them. Yeah, I can offer to a pay for abortion, but at what point can I force a woman to go get an abortion? I cannot. A woman say, my body, my choice, but I say, it's my life, my choice. Before y'all try to stitch this shit and be like, black man this, black man that, I don't give a fuck. I really don't. So the reason this video just meant so much to me was because when I used to work at the child support agency, I used to see cases like this. And I used to call this particular phenomenon going nuclear. It's pronounced nuclear. Oh, whatever. So when a guy went nuclear, he would just get as many women pregnant as possible. There was this one case, and uh, I remember they would always show it to all the new trainees. And this guy had like 14 different cases with like different women. So he had like 14 baby. It was crazy. Like it was just one of those legendary cases around the office. And I think he just worked like a normal job. But what was crazy was... You got all these kids and some of them, some of the cases, like there's 14 different baby mamas, but some of them had, you know, multiple kids. So there was a lot of kids and the way it works, you know, is if someone has to pay child support, we see their income. And if they have zero custody, we would get about 25% of their income according to the California guideline calculation. So that's a significant amount of money. But the more kids that uh, someone had to pay for that amount of money and it would go up from like 25 to 40. And then there was some some scale that would eventually reach some maximum based off the background of how the calculator worked. But it would be eventually that like with enough kids, all of these moms would be getting like $60 a month for their child in child support because that would be what we can legally get from him because all the other kids need some portion of whatever his income allots as well. So... $60 a month or $12 a month or $115 a month is obviously like nothing in the great scheme of raising a child. And whenever I'd see that, I, I would always just like, it was just this completely different behavior pattern that a guy, I guess, could choose to take in order to, I don't know, take it out back on the system or just not care. Like this guy is, is black pill walking right here like this is like this is further than anything you know what i mean to do that 
and then to not care about the kids or whatever. And then there's like this weird way. There's nothing anyone can really do legally about it. Like if he wasn't paying his support, then they can try to do some contempt stuff and maybe try to put him in jail. But if he has a normal job and the court order is what it is based off the calculator, which with all these kids is going to be like, you know, only so much money. The only people that really lose, well, everybody kind of loses in the situation, but it's going to be mom and the children. And it's, it, it was just weird because most people that were normal, they would comply, you know, or like there was like, if someone had like, maybe they'd have their first kid and now they're in the child support system and they're doing everything they can or whatever they're paying, they're, they're, you know, doing this. Most of the time the people get, get their money or whatever it is. But with a guy like this, who who knows? Who knows what his position is? He probably doesn't even have a job. Maybe he's working under the table. Maybe he's self-employed and he's just not going to give the money up. The most the child support agency can do is stop him from getting his passport. But I met guys who didn't care about traveling, you know, and they would say, like, I don't care about traveling. Like, I don't need to go nowhere internationally. So who cares? Or maybe we can get rid of like their licenses or put a hold on their licenses, but they didn't care about that either. They'll just drive without a license or whatever work they're doing, they're doing it under the table. Or they just didn't care. Like this guy said at the end of the video, he doesn't give a F, right? <laughs> and at that point, it's just like, there's not much you can do. I remember there was this lady that came in and she had like a six month old baby with her, you know, and she came in to uh, open up a child support case. And, uh, I'm there, you know, child support officer, first class, ready to do his duty. And I'm on the computer and I get the case ready and I put in all their information. Yeah, part of my job when they came in like that was to, was to run a calculation if I can see dad's income. And, you know, I could see all that in the computer for the most part, especially if they were already in the computer, uh, the, the database and the system. And I did a calculation and it came out to like, I think it was like a hundred and I don't know, 60 a month. And for the six month old baby, that was going to be the support amount. And the mom was like, why is it so low? And I was like, oh, it's because he's, he's paying child support for his other kids. So it just affects how much you're going to get. And I saw like the wheels turn in her brain. Like I was looking at her and I just saw the wheels turning and like the realization. And then she said, he has other kids. And in that moment, I was like, crap, I felt so bad. And then she started crying. But in that moment, she realized how badly she got played from this dude. And when I saw this video, like, I know the game this guy's playing. He's just finding other women. And, you know, they probably don't know the real story until it's too late. And then they find out they have the kid. And all of a sudden, they're like, wait a minute. There's seven other baby mamas? I'm number eight? I'm only getting $62 a month for my kid. He doesn't want to see the kid, whatever. And, you know, the guy is sort of right in the sense of like, you know, yeah, we both made a choice and he's kind of flipping the my body, my choice or my life, my choice back on them. Uh, so there, there's nothing anybody can do. There's no law that's going to put him in jail or anything like that. And this is just something that's out there. Like this is called going nuclear. This dude is a nuclear bomb and he can do some devastation in people's lives. Like it's almost kind of, it's kind of crazy, you know? And, uh, it's just, it's just something that, that I, I noticed and it's just weird. You know, I was just talking to a buddy of mine after work and he's the, well, you know, he's, he's, he's doing pretty good career wise and, and works really hard. He's got a great career going a professional, you know, went to college is a good job. His wife's also professional is a good job. And they're, they have to think so much about if we're going to have a child or not, you know, cost wise and planning. And, and then there's this guy who has like, you know, seven kids with seven baby mamas or the other guy with 14. And I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. Anyways, that's what I had to say about that situation. And that's how I see his situation. So this guy probably can't travel you know, all those little annoying things child support's going to do. He says they're reaching out. They're trying to do this. But at the end of the day, I mean, he got him. He got him pretty hard. And I'm sure he's going to get many more. 
It's just once they, these people deal with the system one time, some of them comply, some of them just go dark like this. And they're just like, oh yeah, oh yeah, okay, you're gonna do this to me? I'm about to pay this much a month? All right, all right. I'm gonna go get her pregnant. I'm gonna get her pregnant. I'm gonna get her pregnant. I'm gonna get her pregnant. And they just like, just do that to the system. And as a young guy, when I was watching it, or just seeing this like in reality as I was working there, it was always just like, it was just this very weird phenomenon I saw. But anyways, yeah, that's called going nuclear. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment. Uh, tell me how many baby mamas you got. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.